Yeah, Luke Walton in his third season has been fired as the Sacramento Kings head coach. Might recall last week, Sam Amick of USA Today reported that Walton was on the hot seat. Well, today it was made official that Walton is gone after they lost last night. It was a, a, a tough loss for this team last night as they got beat up at home by Utah, 123 to 105. But this is nothing new in Sacramento. They've had a revolving door since Michael Malone, their fifth different coach in eight seasons. But now a new regime in the front office with Lottie Divots out and Monty McNair calling the shots. And he's the one who made the decision, who said, this is not meeting our expectation of the way we should be playing. Five. What we've seen over the last eight, nine games is, is not Kings basketball. Um, my job is to put us in position as we've stated our goal is to make the playoffs and until we get there we're going to do everything we can um to make the team better to to put ourselves in a position to to get back there and um you know so to me it was it was not any one thing it was it was um you know really a, an evaluation of everything of of where we've been and where we're at all right, so Monty McNair saying this does not meet the expectations of Kings basketball. It's been 15 years since the Kings have made the playoffs. And it, it seems, Candace, as if ever since Vivek Ranadive came in to ownership of this team, they've been searching for an identity and a culture in Sacramento. And that's just what I wrote down, culture. You look at franchises of the past, and yes, I think it has a lot to do with the coach and the management setting that culture, but it, it really depends on management, coaching, and players all being on the same page. And I really feel like, you know, players are very important. You look at it in terms of culture, Golden State Warriors, they brought in a guy like Steph, who the entire organization mirrors this guy's energy and, and, and this guy's presence. And I feel as though it is so important when you're trying to change a culture, it's gotta be from top to bottom. Everybody's gotta be on the same page, and at the same time, five coaches in eight years, what is that culture? Right. If it's changing every year. So I think that this next hire, you know, not interim, but this next full-time hire has to mirror what the general management and hire management wants. I, I want to follow up on you with that. By the way, Alvin Gentry, longtime head coach in the NBA, who had been on Luke Walton's bench, will take over on an interim basis for Sacramento. But you mentioned from the top down, it was fascinating on draft night when the Kings selected Davion Mitchell which seemed like a repeat of the Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton. But the thing that came out of that front office was he's going to bring culture. Mm -hmm. How often does a team look to a rookie, to a lottery pick, to bring in the culture that is needed? You know, that's, that's I mean, it's important to find it somewhere. Right. And I don't believe that age determines whether no. you can bring culture or not. If that's the standard then that has to be the standard going forward. Those are the type of guys that we add pieces to. That's what we build around. And it may not be your best player, but culture is so important in winning. And you cannot tell me that you're able to win without that culture. Yeah, Candace, you're totally right. And I'm glad you brought that up, Jerry. It's usually not a young guy, but you're totally right on. That's what the Sacramento Kings wanted from Davion Mitchell. And he's a talented player. Yeah. But when you're looking for a young guy, and I'm with Candace, it doesn't matter, but it should have already been there. For the Sacramento Kings, you got to be able to find it in free agency. You look at the Miami Heat, the culture guy, Udonis Haslam. Golden State is Steph and Draymond. Each team we can go down the line, and then the teams you can't find it, that's when you start to look at it, it reflects their record. And I love the OKC Thunder. Chris Paul was there. They had culture. That culture has carried over. Shea. If you look right now, if you look at their standings, I'm like, Oh, they're just six and ten. I love watching them play. Yep. They lose games because sometimes they're just not as talented as, as the teams. But they don't lose games because of effort, because of guys together. They're cheering for one another. They're playing hard. They're getting out. They're talking to each other. It's a good camaraderie. You don't see that in some of these teams, and you weren't seeing that with the Sacramento Kings. After losing seven out of their last ten, the Kings are now in the twelfth spot in the West at six and eleven. Anybody you talk to in the Sacramento organization will tell you with a straight face they believe they should be in the conversation for at least the play-in this year. Stop laughing, Candace. Why are you laughing, Candace? I'm not laughing, but I'm, I'm also looking at their competition, you know, in the West. Right. And, yes, if your goal, to me, culture is not to be in the play-in. I think that's where everything lies. That should not be your goal. No. You know, it should never, you should never say we should be in the conversation of the play-in. 
It should be. We should be in the conversation of being in the playoffs yeah, or being a six or seven. Because the play-in is 10th. The play-in the play is 10th. Well, you got to start somewhere to end a 15-year playoff drought. You get to the playoffs. I mean, when you start- Well, I'm not saying people are suggesting they should, they're limited at the play-in, but I'm saying now that the playoffs have expanded to 10 teams, they're, they're, they put the burden on their head coach to at least get them there. Well, they have six wins and a tenth, the team in 10th have seven. They're one game of the way out of the play-in. So you're saying it's a premature fire? So they're almost fire? there. Luke no, did what I'm he was saying, supposed I'm to. Saying they, Luke did what he was supposed to. If that was the expectations, they're, they're, they're hovering around the play-in game right now. I mean, they're one game out of the 10th spot. I, I, I think it was more than just being in a play-in. There was, my opinion, I don't know, 